perhaps the most important lesson, the imp most important piece of knowledge that I can impart to you to help you do better in the reading section is this, that the evidence for your answer is in the text. It's on the page. This is the cardinal rule for SAT reading, right? So when you're doing a question, no matter what the question is, even if it's an inference question, uh, the answer is going to be in some sense on the page, in the passage somewhere, or at least evidence for it. And what I like to say to students, you should be able to physically point to specific lines, line 12, line 15, specific words even, from the passage that supports your answer. Uh, and of course, in the part two questions where you have to provide the evidence, you have to give them the line, right, for a uh, that for evidence for a question you previously answered, you actually have to do this when you answer questions sometimes. But in general, when you answer any reading question, the answer is going to be in the passage. Now, on the other hand, answers are not dependent on the following. So answers are not dependent on outside knowledge. This is not a test of science. This is not a test of history. This is not a test of anything in terms of content. I suppose the only outside knowledge you would need is what words mean. But beyond that, you do not need to know any outside knowledge. And in fact, sometimes having outside knowledge can hurt you because if you choose an answer to a question based on something you know in real life, based on information that you've learned somewhere else, you may not be getting the right answer because, again, the answer depends on what's actually in the passage, not what's true in real life or what you've heard previously. Uh, answers are not dependent on what could be true. So just because... Uh, a certain conclusion could be gained from the passage, from the information in the passage. It doesn't necessarily mean that that conclusion must be true, right? We're looking for answers that must be true. Always, 100% of the time, must be true. Um, so just because an answer could be true doesn't mean it's the answer. You have to find something that is true based on what's in the text. Any feelings you might have or unsubstantiated opinions on what the author is really saying also doesn't matter. Again, it's what is the passage actually saying? What is the author saying directly in the passage? Even if it's an inference question or an implies question or a suggest question, it's all about what's in the text. And then finally, subjectivity. So a lot of times I hear from students, they'll say, well, the reading section is really subjective. The answers, sometimes it seems like both answers could be right. And if you think that an answer to a question is unclear or indeed subjective, so personal to depending on your point of view, then you've missed something in the passage. That's the surest sign that you haven't found that evidence in the passage. Sometimes it's even one word in the passage on the hardest questions that might point you to one answer over the other. Or perhaps you haven't evaluated the choices carefully enough. And we'll talk a lot more about this when we go through practice questions and when we talk about getting stuck between two choices. But in any event... If you think a question is subjective, if you think it's unclear, if you think both answers are reasonable, then you have to look harder because you've missed something. Because again, the answer is on the page. The answer is on the page. It's in the text.